Summer's almost over, and RE Plus 2025 is just a few short weeks away. Lots of new vendors have entered the market for battery storage. And of course, we've seen a lot of shakeup in the solar industry this year, from tariffs to tax credits, and the ongoing meltdown in the solar financing sector. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about what I wanna see at this year's RE Plus conference. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're talking about what do I wanna see at this year's RE Plus conference. We just got a, a couple of weeks left until RE Plus 2025 in Las Vegas. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you five major things that I'm gonna be looking for as I go into this year's conference. Uh, and of course, the first is major upgrades for inverter and battery systems. Um, folks, as you know, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that there's dozens and dozens of new participants in the energy storage, inverter, and battery space. But there's really maybe, I would say, five to seven key brands that I would consider to be the market leaders. And I know many of them are gonna have uh, announcements of new, new features and enhancements and expansions on their existing products. I, I know SIG Energy has a major uh, upgrade planned both for their, their controller, their inverter system, as well as for their battery packs. I understand we're gonna be seeing higher capacity battery packs. Uh, I also know that Franklin Whole Home has planned upgrades on their system as well. Uh, Q-Cells, I'm hearing, is gonna be rolling out their third generation inverter and battery system. So gonna be very curious to see how that solution works. Uh, and for one of the first times that I can remember in recent history, Enphase is gonna be exhibiting their entire fourth generation product line. Uh, of course, that's going to be your, your microinverters, uh, but also the new fourth generation battery system, the IQ Battery 10C, uh, along with their new combiner, the IQ Combiner 6C. Now, for, for as long as I've been attending RE+, Enphase does not typically exhibit product the way a lot of the other manufacturers do. They, they typically have a small training van outside, but this year they're going to be showing the full lineup. So really looking forward to see what they have to show us this year. All right, the second major thing I'm looking for is the solar finance companies. Now again, I know for those of you who've been following for a while, you know that we've seen major shakeup uh, in the solar financing sector, particularly with high profile bankruptcies from Sonova and Mosaic. Uh, and you know, when, when these solar finance companies go out of business, it can affect several of the other participants uh, in the marketplace because, I mean, essentially any entity that those companies owed money to could take a serious financial hit, meaning solar installers, meaning wholesale distributors, meaning uh, O&M companies, companies that provide service and repairs to existing solar systems. All of those companies are affected when a large solar financing company goes out of business. So I'm curious to see who shows up and if they have any new message that they're putting out there to the marketplace. Now, of course, I know companies like Goodleap and Dividend are under pressure as well. As I'm recording this video right now, there's over 2,000 lawsuits pending against solar finance companies. Um, you know, situations where the homeowner took out a loan to purchase a solar system and then the contractor that was supposed to do the installation, they either never installed the system or they never turned it on uh, or the system got installed, but then it, it needs repair, but the contractor is out of business and there's nobody to service the system. So there's thousands of homeowners out there in that position to where they, you know, they want to stop making payments on their solar loans. So that's a big question in my mind is how all of that gets resolved. And does the solar financing business model change significantly as we go into 2026, especially in light of losing the tax credit at the end of this year as well? But I guess time will tell. The question is, who's going to be left standing? All right, the third major thing I'm going to be looking for is this year's new lineup of residential solar modules. Um, typically, all the big residential solar module manufacturers are going to be exhibiting their latest and greatest products. And, and of course, now in 2025, we're seeing residential size modules approaching 500 watts per panel. So I expect to see Q-Cells exhibiting their new solar modules. Uh, Silfab will typically exhibit theirs as well. Uh, and of course, our preferred module for residential systems, the REC Alpha Pure RX. Uh, I know as of last year when they exhibited, they were pushing 470 watts per panel. Uh, this year, we may be even pushing closer to that 500 watts mark. Uh, and that's probably a great time to introduce today's video sponsor, REC. Today's video is brought to you by REC. If you're looking to get the maximum performance for your residential solar and battery storage system, then you need to take a look at the new REC Alpha Pure RX solar modules. REC solar cells are built using heterojunction technology, which is a combination of crystalline silicon and amorphous or thin film silicon. 
The result is a solar module with extremely high efficiency and industry low degradation rate, all while remaining price competitive. The low temperature coefficient and extra horizontal supports keeps the solar panel performing near peak power even in extreme weather conditions. REC stands behind its award-winning modules with a 25-year ProTrust warranty that covers power, product, and labor. So if you're serious about becoming energy independent and you want to get the best performance from your solar array, then tell your installer to use REC Alpha Pure RX. The 450 and 460 watt modules are available now at your local solar distributor. Thank you REC for supporting the channel and for sponsoring today's video. All right, now the fourth thing I'm gonna be looking for this year are integrated smart home energy management systems. Now, one of the trends that we've been seeing in the industry here is really the, the evolution of solar and storage into more of a whole house integrated smart energy management system where you could be integrating solar, battery storage, could be generator uh, power as well. That would also include intelligent load control uh, and potentially EV charging or even bi-directional EV charging. Um, and all of that able to work as part of one integrated platform and controlled on one single app. So I'm gonna be very interested to see what some of the providers in this space are exhibiting this year. Uh, of course, that's gonna mean companies like Schneider Electric, uh, Span and their Span Smart Panel, uh, as well as SIG Energy uh, and Savant. Uh, also, I would add Lunar Energy to that space as well. I'm not sure if Lunar is going to be exhibiting this year, but they also have a solar storage and load control system that works together very seamlessly with one of the best apps out there. And then finally, number five is bi-directional EV charging. Uh, and I know we've been talking about this technology for a couple of years now. We're still yet to have a consumer-ready product to market but the technology is here. And so again, when we talk about bi-directional EV charging, what it means is that your, your electric vehicle becomes a, a full participant in the home energy management system. And so you can, you can charge that vehicle battery using grid power or using solar power, uh, but with a bi-directional system, you can also draw energy out of your electric vehicle battery either to sell to the grid under certain conditions or to provide secure emergency backup power to the home. And of course, we know a number of the major manufacturers are working on that. I believe SIG Energy is ahead of the pack. Uh, in fact, if you haven't seen our previous video, bi-directional EV charging is here, go back and watch that previous video where we show a successful demonstration using Rivian vehicle, a Mercedes-Benz vehicle, as well as the Ford F-150 Lightning. But of course, a number of the other manufacturers are developing this as well. Uh, including Enphase. We had a chance to look at Enphase's prototype bi-directional EV charger, as well as Solar Edge has announced that they're gonna be offering a bi-directional EV charger as well. And really what, what the holdup here is just agreeing on standards between the EV charger manufacturers or the, the solar equipment manufacturers and the electric vehicle manufacturers themselves, figuring out exactly how those two, those two pieces of equipment are gonna communicate and then to what level the vehicle manufacturers are going to allow the charger to, to draw out of that battery. I, I, don't, I don't anticipate they're gonna make 100% of that battery capacity available because it does have the potential to lower the, the battery life and, and impact the warranty. Uh, but I would expect to see somewhere around 40 to 50% at least of that vehicle battery capacity able to tap into a home solar and storage system. And, and frankly, you know, if you compare the size of an electric vehicle battery to your, your typical home battery, you could be looking at six, seven, eight times the capacity without having to buy a separate battery for your home. So that's the, the fifth major thing that I'm gonna be looking at at this year's RE Plus. So this has been a short update on you know, what Joe, what, what I'm looking to see at RE Plus 2025 in Las Vegas. Um, as always folks, if you're getting good value from these videos, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. That way as we have new videos coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with everything. Now, if you're a homeowner and you're in the process of looking at different solar and battery storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote, really, really guys, now is the time to do it. If you wanna get the system installed this year and get the 30% tax credit before it goes away, this is the time you wanna be getting quotes and you wanna be meeting with contractors. So as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below here. You can set up a call with one of our experts or just use the free online calculator tool to see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. But that does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.